Peace. Peace, peace. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. And welcome to another day to labor in the vineyard of the most high. With your brother. Another day to get in the word. To see what the most I got to serve. And what we eating on today. We going to eat on the knowledge of our brother Krishna. A brother y'all heard me talk about a lot. That a lot of us in the Israelite movement. The Hebrew community ain't too familiar with. All right, because we was told that Hinduism and Buddhism and all that stuff was 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 not us, and it won't for us. But that's not that's not true. The same way the image of Buddha that been distorted, the image of Krishna, they just hide it. They just put a a, a blue a blue person that looked like somebody off the movie Avatar as a picture for him. But if you study. If you ever get time and want to search something interesting, look up the Krishna and Christ connection and you will find some interesting material right there. There's plenty of books wrote on Krishna and Christ. All right? Because before Yahweh came, the first anointing one sent that a religion was built around was Krishna. All right? The Hindu religion came before the Buddhist religion, as Krishna was sent before Buddha. All right? And they both were sent before Yahweh Because if you study the teachings of Yahweh life in his younger years, where the, the Bible disappear and leave off of, he went and studied with some of the Buddhist and Hindu teachers. All right? So he went to study some of the teachings of the great ones, the masters of light that were sent before him. Alright? And that's why the church didn't work to break all these teachings up to keep us away from all the other teachings. But let's get some of this knowledge right here so we can see that Krishna was one of the masters of light. Alright? And it's not blasphemy. And it, uh, if a lot of us then got put in the idol worship when it come to Brother Jesus or Yahweh Shai. Whereas when we heard somebody saying that it was another Christ, which Christ is just a title, meaning the anointed one. And Krishna was a Christ that was sent from the Most High to enlighten the people. You know, I'm going to go into the word and I'm going to give it to you out the word so you can see it for yourself. All right. A lot of the same things. That he said was a lot of the same things that Christ said. Except he came a couple thousand years before the Christ. Well, before Yahweh shot. Alright, because Christ is a title, as we've seen in another lesson. But let's start in the children of light. Let's start in the children of light. The return of the children of light. Page 42. I want y'all to see why I talk about Krishna so much and why... The most I sent me. I I, spent a, I got a lot of Hindu books. All right, Krishna always been my man's, and you will see why as we go through the teachings. Cause Krishna, Christ, there's a lot of similarities. In the East, other great teachers came to India and Tibet to tell the story of the light. All right, and by us. Getting our history back, we know that we was always over here, but it was a time when we left and went over to the east, all right? And we took our customs, traditions, and our teachings with us, all right? In the east, other great teachers came to India and Tibet to tell the story of the light, including Krishna. The Hindu deity worship as the eighth incarnation of Vishnu and Buddha. Approximately 2,600 years ago, Buddha, known in various manifestations as the illuminated one, the illuminator in infinite light, 
taught the path to enlightenment. All right, so they say Buddha came 2,600 years ago. We know Yahweh Shah came 2,000 years ago, but Krishna came before both of them, all right? And nobody, I didn't search. It ain't no exact date for when Krishna came. Some of us say 4,000 years ago. Some of us say 4,500 years ago. But all of it is shows that he came first before Buddha. All right? And Buddha came before Yahweh. All right, let's start to eat. I'm going to go to the Yudava Gita. With some of the Hindu scriptures. This book right here called The Final Teachings of Krishna. All right. This is the Yudhava Gita. And this is the Bhagavad Gita. All right. So we're going to start in the Yudhava Gita. And I want you to see the similarities from this part I'm about to read. You, you'll start to see the similarities between him and your brother Jesus. Page 26. You get some words from Brahma, the creator. Brahma, the creator, said, O oh, supreme soul. This I'm speaking to Krishna. O oh, supreme soul, you took human birth because we beseech you. To relieve the burden of the earth. To relieve the burden of the earth. This you have done to perfection. You have placed the laws of virtuous living in the hands of the trustworthy and the righteous. And you have allowed your glory to be heard by all. You have allowed your glory to be heard by all by incarnating into this Yadu line and assuming a peerless form you have taken action that has illuminated the whole world you have taken action that has illuminated the whole world alright and we see the line that he incarnated into was called Yadu Yadu And we'll see how this Yadu line Is similar to The Judah line That Christ Yahweh inherited into Alright Because they both End up getting destroyed Alright In the dark age That is about to descend People will have your life Speaking on Krishna People will have your life in these to light their way to a life beyond ignorance. Oh, incomparable one, 125 years have passed since you descended to earth as head, head of this Yadu clan. Oh, support of the universe, nothing remains to be accomplished by you. The wishes of the gods have been fulfilled and the Yadu line must now submit to the curse they brought upon themselves. When Yahweh came, the tribe of Judah, the Israelites, just like the Yadu line, had to submit to the curse they brought upon themselves. All right, let's go down some. Let's let's get the words of Krishna. The radiant one, Krishna, finally said, The purpose of my descent has indeed been accomplished. I have already decided to withdraw from this place and return to my former existence. This famous Yadu line, made proud by their many victories, is making a bid to seize all that they see. But just as the shore stops the ocean wave, I have stopped their ambition. 
I cannot leave before their destruction is complete, or they will surely overrun the earth. Through the curse of the Brahmins, the destruction of this, my family has begun. Through the curse of the Brahmins, the destruction of this, my family has begun. And I show y'all another book. This book right here, The Gerbers of Hebron. In this book, they do it. It's a this a it's a long book, but it show how the Hindu, the Jews, the Egyptians, the Buddhists, they was all in that same area together. And it, it go into how to maybe I do a lesson out there one day. The spirit hit me with it. It go it go into how the Hindus and the Jews had a lot of the same traditions. Their culture was essentially the same. All right, it go it go into that. All right, there was their laws, the eating habits, a lot of the a lot of their traditions and culture was similar, all right? They weren't as different as the religions in the camps would have us to seem like we completely different people than them people over there when really they was would be called black folks just like us, all right? Because before, the same way we got ran out of all the other areas and they hid our images, the same way they changed the image of Buddha, all right, and Krishna was before Buddha. They had his image also. All right, they always got a blue person, like on this one right here. They got a blue guy, look like somebody off the movie Avatar. And we know who the blue black people is on this one. They got another blue person right here, look like somebody off Avatar. All right, but they always hide his image, just like Buddha. Let's go into the Bhagavad Gita and get some more scriptures about my man Krishna. Chapter 4, called Transcendental Knowledge, verse 24. A person who is fully absorbed in Krishna consciousness is sure to attain the spiritual kingdom. Because of his full, full contribution to spiritual activities. All right. It's just like if you absorbed in Christ consciousness. All right. Our brother, Yahweh Shai, came to take us back to the spiritual abode. All right. So if you absorbed in Christ consciousness, your mindset is going to be spiritual. The same way if you absorb, like it's saying right here, if you fully absorb in Krishna consciousness, your mind is going to be spiritual. All right. A person who is fully absorbed in Krishna consciousness is sure to attain the spiritual kingdom because of his full contribution to spiritual activities in which the consummation is absolute and that which is offered is of the same spiritual nature. All right. Go to... Chapter 7 Called Knowledge of the Absolute Verse 10 O son of Partha Know that I am I am The original seed Of all existences The intelligence Of the intelligent The intelligence Of the intelligent And the prowess Of all powerful men verse 24 unintelligent men meaning non-righteous non-believing unintelligent men who do not know me perfectly think that I the supreme personality of Godhead the same as Yahweh Shah was, the supreme personality of Godhead, Krishna was impersonal before and had now assumed 
this personality. Meaning that they think that he just came out of nowhere like everybody else when he came in the flesh and that he didn't exist before that. Due to their small knowledge or small understanding, they do not know my higher nature, which is imperishable and supreme. Verse 26. Oh, Arjuna. Arjuna is his disciple that he talked through throughout the whole book for the most part. O oh, Arjuna, as the supreme personality of Godhead, I know everything that has happened in the past, all that is happening in the present, and all things that are yet to come. I also know all living entities, but me, no one knows. Only the righteous, the faithful, the true believers, no him. Nobody else. Just like all the non-believers that ain't trying to hear about Yahweh or Jesus. They don't know him. He not real to them because they don't believe. Chapter 9 called the most confidential knowledge. Verse 18. I am the goal the sustainer, the master, the witness, the abode, the refuse, and the most dear friend. I am the creation and the annihilation, the basis of everything, the resting place and the eternal seed. The eternal seed. Chapter 10, called the openness of the absolute. Verse 8. I am the source of all spiritual and material worlds. In the book of Hebrews, didn't it say by Christ he made the worlds? Oh, uh, what, what, what Brother Krishna say? I am the source of all spiritual and material worlds. The same like the book of Hebrews tell us about Yahweh. By him all the worlds was made. The children of the light, the masters of light. All right. I am the source of all spiritual and material worlds. Everything emanates from me. The wise who perfectly know this. Engage in my devotional service and worship me with all their hearts. All right. And by worshiping him, it's speaking on referencing worshiping the most high. Because that's the, the same way the Christians worship Jesus as God is the same way some of the Hindu sects look at Krishna as the most high. Verse 9. The thoughts of my pure devotees dwell in me. Their lives are fully devoted to my service. Doing the will. The will of the Father. Like Jesus said. My will is not my own, but the will of the one that sent me. Alright? And it's the same with Krishna. He just worded differently. The thoughts of my pure devotees Dwelling in me Their lives are fully devoted To my service And not speaking on him the person Speaking on the father The most high The great spirit Brahma as it said in the last book And they derive Great satisfaction and bliss From always enlightening One another and conversing About me About the light Verse 10, to those who are constantly devoted to serving me with love, I give the understanding by which they can come to me. Let 
This is a picture of the man who do a lot of the writings as far as he was one of their, their top scribes and teachers. His teacher sent him on a mission to America in the late 60s, early 70s, I want to say. He was devoted. He the one that came over here and started the Krishna consciousness, consciousness movements. A.C. Swami. A great teacher. Verse 32. Of all creations, I am the beginning and the end. And also the middle, O Arjuna. Of all sciences, I am the spiritual science of the self. The spiritual science of the self, the same as Yahweh Shai. All right. That's why if you come to knowledge of him, you come to knowledge of yourself. The same thing with Krishna. I am the spiritual science of the self, the spirit man. And among logicians, I am the conclusive truth. I am the conclusive truth. Like your house side, the truth, the way, the light. Give you a definition that they got a Krishna out the back of the Yudagav Gita, Yudava Gita. The definition for the name Krishna in here says the Dark One, the Dark One, but they always got his face as the blue. The Dark One, meaning Krishna. Or he who draws us to himself. Meaning Vishnu. Krishna was an incarnation of Vishnu. Born in response to a plea from Mother Earth. To be rid of the burden of unrighteousness. The same thing Jesus came to do. To rid the earth of unrighteousness. Alright. And if you want to know who Vishnu is. I go to the definition of Vishnu. The all-pervading one. All right, and we know in the Bible who the all-pervading one is. Vishnu, the all-pervading one, second member of the Hindu trinity, God of preservation, and therefore the one who incarnates on earth as the avatar. Mainly worship in the forms of Rama, Krishna, and Vinka to Shavara. All right. So that's just a little something to stimulate your mind as to who Krishna was. And to give you more of an understanding on part of our hidden history and some of our other teachers alike that was sent to us that had whole religions built around them meaning they was ascending masters alike like the keys of Enoch tell us it was a lot of ascending masters that was sent all right so now we can shed a little more light on that right there and it's gonna help somebody make some more connections on their journey all right peace